Ciao, I'm Michele from Invader Studios, an Italian indie software house located just outside Rome. Initially, we started as a group of friends and professionals bound by creativity and common ideas. We were shot to prominence thanks to a Labor of Love project, an unofficial remake of Resident Evil 2, which was recreated entirely in a real Engine 4. At that time, we received an invitation from Capcom to visit their headquarters in Osaka, Japan, to talk with them about future projects. Today, as a company, we are currently developing Daimler 1998, a new survival horror IP. Developed with the Unreal Engine 4 and officially presented in September 2016 with a huge worldwide success, the game is planned to be released in mid-2018 for PC, Xbox One and PS4. Daimler 1998 is a third-person survival horror inspired by movie and game productions of the 90s, but with modern gameplay mechanics that fit perfectly with the old-school survival horror atmosphere that we are recreating. With a story steeped in the old-school survival horror values, our sole aim is to bring back the horror of the 90s. As a story-driven single-player game, Daimler 1998 is very cinematographic, studded with cutscenes, dialogues and suspenseful cliffhangers. Besides the Real Engine 4, Reallusion software are also helping us to achieve development, giving us fast and easy-to-use tools for building believable characters and animation in a fraction of the time. The recent addiction of the iClone Fizzware facial mockup plugin give us the chance to significantly improve the quality of our custom characters' facial animations. Thanks to the integration of the iClone Facewear Facial Motion Capture System, iClone 7 now has an amazing AAA game studio level tool for the creation of realistic facial animations. Our goal is to professionally animate all our custom character faces for Daimler 1998 in record time. We start by working on our custom faces, creating in external 3D software all the morph targets that the iClone Facewear plugin need to function properly. After that, we jumped into 3D Exchange to map all our custom character expressions, making them 100% compatible with the iClone 7 facial standards. The next step was to create a custom JSON files specifically for our characters. We added these into the iClone 7 facial mockup plugin, allowing us to map all the necessary morphs. Once everything was ready, we started recording our facial performances in a 60 FPS video to create image sequences for the face wear analysis, obtaining very good results in the process. We finished recording, editing, and tweaking all the animation performances in Eclon 7 and exported them via 3D Exchange, FBX format. We then imported the recorder and animation scripts onto the custom skeletal meshes that we used in our real engine 4, and then returned to our external 3D software to import the animations onto our custom controls. In the end, the animations were exported from the 3D software and into a real engine 4, where we experienced them in all their splendor allowing us to apply them to our in-game models ready to be used in Daver 1998. Iclone 7 Facewear plugin is amazingly supporting us for a such ambitious production like Daver 1998. Then we definitely recommend the Reallusion softwares for all kinds of productions, from AAA to indie. Thanks for watching this video and greetings from Invader Studios.